Robin Williams. Just last year, the beloved comedian and actor committed suicide. Likely just hearing those words come out of my mouth makes you feel uncomfortable because our culture is so hush-hush when it comes to the issues surrounding mental illness which is ultimately really ironic because according to the National Alliance for the Mentally Ill, one in four adults suffers from a mental illness. That's one in four people in this room. That's one in four people at your workplace, one in four people in your class, one in four people in your family struggling with a mental illness. So with that statistic in mind, you can understand my deep-rooted frustration to learn that the Illinois government has cut the budget for mental health care by 71% in recent years. Now, I'm a sociology major, so it's in my nature to prance around and blame the government for all of our social ailments. <laughs> <laughs> but fortunately for all of you, that's not what I'm here to do tonight. I think that we can solve this if we think creatively, if we step outside of the box, come up with an atypical solution. So bear with me while we do that. Please raise your hand if you, A, have a job currently, or if you're like me, B, hope to have a job pending graduation soon. Let's see the hands. Yeah, my calculations may be slightly off, but I'm assuming that's roughly 100% of us in here. So as you can see, the workforce is a strong social structure that is frankly underrated and we don't tap into frequently enough. I think that the companies, corporations, institutions that we, we, that we work for have a unique opportunity to take a stance on these social problems and, in my opinion, a responsibility to do so. Several corporations, companies, organizations already are offering physical wellness centers on their corporate campuses. These consist of fitness centers, weight rooms, or even walk-in clinics where you can get your common cold treated. But I think as representatives in this room of the workforce, we have a unique opportunity to push our employers to offer more. I'm suggesting that we ask for mental wellness centers. A mental wellness center would house two to three counselors on site, each job site. These counselors would offer individual counseling sessions as well as company-wide programs to promote mental and emotional wellness. The capitalist in you might be thinking, self, that sounds expensive. But let me assure you that most competitive companies right now are allocating significant portions of their budget to sustainability efforts to become more eco-friendly. That's all great and wonderful, but I assure you that a mental wellness center is more than a compost bin in a break room or teaching respectable recycling methods. A mental wellness center shows the employees, that's us, that we are deeply, deeply cared for, and who doesn't want to be deeply cared for? So use your voice, understand your efficacy, and join me in making mental wellness centers a reality. Thank you. Thank you.